Hello, this is Idelina Rodriguez, Senior Lecturer and Clinical Education Lead on the Speech and Language Therapy course at De Montfort University. I want to spend a few minutes just talking through the 2020-21 academic year Speech and Language Therapy Placement Overview. So as a bit of background information, our first year students will be in Term 1, carrying out an online placement with the care home settings that we worked with and have worked with in the past. In term two, they will continue to work in local nurseries and schools, um, carrying out various activities, including ICAN, delivering ICANN's Early Talk Boost. And in May, we'll have a placement within a setting for individuals with learning disability that spans across the age range. We have asked for your support, uh, as always, to deliver our clinical placements, which begin in the second year and go through to the final year. Firstly, to talk about the second year placement. Given the ongoing situation, our term one placement will include online indirect practice based learning with speech and language therapists. And so students will complete online learning that is associated with clinical work, potentially discussing case studies, looking at the evidence base around a particular intervention for a client group, etc. We're asking speech and language therapists to offer support and supervision in term one as part of their placement uh, offer. And that would be a three, approximately three hours or more per day uh, on a Wednesday or a Thursday for five weeks between mid-November and mid-December on the date shown on screen. In term two, so after the Christmas holidays, we are anticipating that our students will be able to attend placements with speech and language therapists, both in the setting and potentially online. However, the service is being delivered at the present time. Our intention is that students attend one day per week on either a Wednesday or a Thursday for 12 weeks on the days shown on the screen. Of course, this is subject to whatever the situation at that time, and we work to ensure students, SLTs and service users are kept safe. So a bit of a summary of the second year placement. In term one, students will complete online, indirect practice-based learning with speech and language therapists. We'll be following the guidelines set out by Royal College of Speech and Language Therapists for that type of placement. In term two, so from January 2021 onwards, students will attend placement one day a week as per the service deli delivery. Within that term, in term two, we're going to ask students to collect some data about a client that they've worked with in order to complete a university-based assessment. And we'll be providing further details about that um, via email and also in another video. At the end of that placement, so around Easter, around April 2021, we will ask the supervising lead SLT uh, that has been supporting and supervising the placement to complete a practice educator assessment report. Within the second year, students will also complete a dysphagia placement. And that is a placement that lasts for two weeks where students attend on either a Wednesday or Thursday, so one day a week for two weeks and we're asking for that placement to take place any time from January onwards as per the dates shown on screen. The organisation of the placement broadly includes the first day where the students attend in a pair and observe a client at a meal time. One student will complete a swallowing observation tool and a second student will complete a communication observation tool. The following week, the same pair of students uh, attend again, and this time they swap roles. We ask for a short amount of feedback from the supervising clinician to be provided to the university. In their final year, the students will complete a final year placement block as they have done in the previous year. The final year placement block will remain four days per week over 10 weeks. And um, this takes place between January and March 2021. Students can attend on any days as they don't have any scheduled teaching 
uh, at, on campus or online during those times. Again, we will closely monitor the situation and should the need arise to amend this placement plan, we will do so in response to whatever the situation may be closer to the time. The student placement is four days per week. Three of those days include the student in the setting or online, again, if that's part of the service delivery model, and the student works directly supervised by a clinician providing SL, providing speech and language therapy, be that in person, face to face or in person online. <clears throat> One day a week is allocated as a project type day where the student has one day per week for a task or a set of tasks that is set by the supervising SLT or the service and that can be completed within the setting or from home. This isn't a piece of work that students need to submit to the university, it's not a project in the sense that is going to be um, submitted to the university but it is intended to be time for the student to be able to provide uh, some additional support to the service and make a contribution. So last year, uh, some students were involved in pulling together the evidence base for a particular intervention for a service. Some students were involved in making um, service user information leaflets and some students involved in making short video clips. For example, um, some students worked on demonstrating PECs um, to, to parents via short video clips. So there's opportunity for services to think about something that they could use the time. So it's the equivalent of 10 days across the 10 weeks, one day a week, where students can complete some tasks that would contribute to the service. If you have any questions about De Montfort University SALT placements, please don't hesitate to contact myself or my colleagues and our contact details appear on the screen there. Thank you very much for listening.